to thin out a little bit with all of that activity. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side Forecast. And I can honestly say that's the best snow dog I've ever seen. It's the only one I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, hey, there is some concern with the snow. While people are having fun at it, if if you're traveling to the mountains, be prepared for difficult driving conditions. This is the latest view from Smith's Ferry on Highway 55. And as you can see, uh, plenty of snow accumulating on the road now. It's still coming down, uh, letting up at times, but over the next 24 to 48 hours, we're going to continue to see that snow coming and going. And here is Highway 95. Uh, this is about six miles north of Council. Snow also accumulating here and we do still see some light snow coming down. So again, especially if you're headed to mountain locations, be prepared for difficult driving conditions. And you can see with the light snow falling at Tamarack that it's kind of going sideways. There's a lot of wind, so blowing and drifting a concern in mountain locations as the snow continues to accumulate. And there's another photo on my Facebook page that shows the snow right around here. But because it was blowing around so much, hard to say exactly how much was on the stake before they cleared it, but I'm very confident that it was more than a foot of snow. Tamarack uh, coming out the winter from what I have seen today. Plenty of snow at Brundage, not as much as we saw at Tamarack, but they got up to around seven inches this afternoon before they cleared that stake off. And now we see it starting to accumulate another inch already on the ground there and over the next several days here's what we can expect according to the more well aggressive computer models you see as much as 20 inches for Brundage Mountain more than a foot at Tamarack Bogus Basin with well over half a foot of snow out of the storms that will continue to come through over the next several days our forecast for the valley tomorrow doesn't show much happening in the morning but we have snow moving in right now and with that happening, we could get some accumulation on the valley floor that could make that commute just a little bit difficult. Even if it melts down, you see our low temperatures get below freezing in the morning, so it will be icy in some places. And then we see snow pushing in again in the afternoon. Temperatures will rise into the mid 30s, but that snow likely to start accumulating tomorrow evening going into Tuesday morning. Here you see the snow showers still hitting the central mountains. Lots more behind this, and now we're starting to see just a little bit of snow here in the valley as well. So we do expect some accumulation as those temperatures drop. And our winter storm warning is still in effect until Tuesday afternoon at 5 o'clock. That's the area in pink here. The areas shaded in purple are winter weather advisories also going through that same time frame. And there you see the precipitation just continuing to come in. Here's a look at what we can expect in valley locations around five inches for McCall, maybe an inch and a half for Boise by Tuesday afternoon. Ski areas, uh, there you see one of the less aggressive models uh, showing around a foot and a half through Tuesday, but this is through a week from today and that shows more than two feet for Brundage, Tamarack and around the same for Sun Valley. So lots of snow coming in here. You see coming in in the future cast, those scattered showers coming and going over the next 24 to 48 hours. So in mountain locations especially, you'll continue to see those accumulations and in some places they will be heavy and there will be blowing and drifting snow. Be aware of that. If you're traveling, take some extra water, some blankets, some food just in case. Here in the valley afternoon, well, evening snow showers, they should be done by after midnight. In the mountains, another 6 to 12 inches, not only in the west central mountains, but in the east central mountains as well around Stanley and blowing and drifting snow, especially in places like Fairfield on the Cam Prairie, it can get very difficult, so be aware of that. In the Magic Valley, some evening show snow showers tonight, evening snow showers again tomorrow, uh, and those temperatures cooling down. Lots of wind there as well. 36 the high tomorrow, 35 on Tuesday, with the showers continuing again, especially Monday night into Tuesday morning, and then those temperatures cooling into the mid 30s for Wednesday and Thursday. Our skies clearing somewhat, but guess what? Here comes the next storm system next weekend. Here in the valley, probably a rain snow mix. The uh, next one coming in a week from yesterday will uh, be a little bit warmer than this one. I'm looking at below freezing temperatures tonight and wet roads. Yeah. So difficult drive home for us tonight, too. Probably. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Steve. We'll still ahead on 6.